What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to episode 8 of my Prop Firm Challenge documentary. Today is the 4th, Tuesday, and we got Red Folder News releasing at 10 a.m. This shouldn't affect the market by much, though. It's not a tier 1 news, but it is still Red Folder, so we will be ready for that later. Let's go take a look at the Prop Firm dashboard. All right. As you can see, we have 8 days traded, so we just need 10 days traded total, or minimum, to pass it, but we can have more if we need to, but we need at least a minimum of 10. So we're two days away from this. We have two inconsistent days, meaning that two days add up to 30% or more of our balance. That just means we have to win more trades. We had a profit target of 12,000 from 250,000. So we need to get to 262. We are at about 257 right now. So we're 5K away. All right, y'all, it's about 10 minutes past New York Stock Exchange open and price has been filling in and balanced towards the downside. So we will be looking to go long soon. Price came back and is now near the midnight New York opening. After filling in all this imbalance here, we'll be looking to go along to fill in this imbalance. There was also some liquidity here earlier, and then right after the 8.30 opening, price swept the liquidity, and on a lower time frame, it did give us a entry, but I wasn't confident to take the trade before the 9.30 opening. I just noticed that there was an entry that we could have taken here. We will be looking for a long here shortly. All right, so price just swept sell side liquidity. That's what this is right here, our alert. And as you can see, there is a lot of imbalance here that needs to be filled in, so we'll be looking to go along here shortly price can give us a setup but yeah we'll go in the five room minute real quick as you can see there's a lot of liquidity here so we'll just wait for a reversal and then get in all right y'all we just put our limit order in hopefully we get tagged into the trade sell side liquidity was taken over here and then there was also a five minute order block right here that price rejected off of. And another thing was there was also SMT divergence with NQ, as you can see right here. So we just wanna get tagged into the trade. We're off by one tick right here, but hopefully price can come back and get us back in. Price tagged us in. Damn, we just got stopped out. All right, y'all, just finished logging my trade. Let's go over it real quick. So what happened was, uh, there was a lot of liquidity over here, sell side liquidity that was taken. And then there was also a five minute order block right here that I bounced off of. And I went on a lower time frame, the one minute, and there was a fair value gap right here, which is where I put my trade in and it came down and it just went right past it. But I think what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a double move. So right now I'm just looking for price to give us a sign that it's gonna go up. This has happened to me before where I've, I took the first move and it didn't work out, but then it gave us a second move and it usually worked out. So we'll see what happens. If not, it's almost 11. So we'll wait until after lunch to get another setup. But if there is a setup that happens right now, I'll be more than willing to take it. It's been pretty quiet today. It's about to be 345 here soon. Trying to make a play on the last hour macro here, so we'll see what happens. Price just swept this liquidity right here, these equal lows, and now it's giving us signs to the upside, so we're going to look for a trade here somewhere. Hmm, <sighs> just got stopped out. All right, y'all, I just finished logging my trade. Let's just go over it real quick. Pretty much what I saw was after New York lunch, um, price reversed during New York lunch. Usually it'll reverse or it'll consolidate during lunch. So after price reversed and started trending upwards, it came and then it started trending downwards again. And right here, it built up a lot of liquidity up and down. 
buy side and sell side liquidity. So I thought, oh, there might be another play right here. I thought what happened was price came down, swept liquidity here, and then, but it didn't give us any displacement. So I think this was a fake out, but I think we might have another play right here that I'm going to take. Bro. All right, I just closed that trade out and a little bit of profit. Not too much. It's like $80 or something after commissions, but I don't think price is gonna move anymore. So today's just been really quiet. I'm not even gonna count this last trade as a trade since it was technically a break even or a little bit of profit, but yeah, I'm done for the day. Today was really slow. Couldn't really get a read on the market. Looking at the daily chart, price filled in this fair value gap, daily fair value gap, yesterday and today it went up a little bit more. I thought it was going to go past the fair value gap and take out these highs, but I guess it's doing a little correction or retracement filling in here. It's okay though. I think today's our second or third red day of the challenge. I'm not too upset about having a red day. As long as we can continue with this pace, then we should have green days that'll come soon with bigger wins than the losses. So that's all that really matters. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to my channel, staying up to date with my challenge. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.